Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the month of June. Take what applies to you only and leave the rest behind. And if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, those of you who are subscribed and members of the channel, thank you for being here and for showing endless love and support. Um, so we're gonna get into your reading Aquarius, but as a reminder, it is a general love reading. So please reverse roles however they apply and remember this energy oftentimes can swing both ways so the first card we're going to be reading is in regards to the overall energy between you and this person and um, again this is going to be tapping into what spirit is calling your attention to in the month of June this could be a lesson a circumstance whatever okay what is the energy forgiveness oh my goodness solar plexus chakra energy shining through um so you know forgiveness is going to be a major theme here between you and your person um you know maybe one of you needs forgiveness from the other or is seeking forgiveness um maybe some of you are trying to forgive yourselves for actions of the past um, or, you know, allowing yourself to, to go along with a certain narrative in your life. Um, and self-forgiveness is so important, right? Because a lot of times when we end up in situations that require the forgiveness, um, it's, it's traumatizing because we kind of tell ourselves at the end of the day that we can't trust ourselves anymore because we made a poor choice or because we got ourselves into a bad situation. So forgiving yourself for, for not knowing any better at the time or for making that said decision is very important, okay? So the energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. So again, forgiveness allows you to release that energy, okay? No longer holding on to it and making it the narrative of your life. It gives you strength to, to allow yourself to let go of those things. So again, whoever is doing the forgiving or needing the forgiving here, only you will know, but that is the overall vibe here, okay? So, so yeah, you know, and some of you might be in that phase where you're like, oh, this person doesn't even deserve forgiveness, but maybe spirit is trying to get you to forgive yourself because if you still have those type of feelings towards that person, then there's trauma and things that are poking out from within you that still need to be healed. And, you know, it's not a bad thing, right? Healing is not linear. A lot of times you'll think you've healed something or you think you're good and in the clear and something will happen that will pop up and trigger you right back to where you were, okay? Um, so we have to show ourselves that grace and, and allow ourselves to, to be open to forgiveness and, and letting those feelings go, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you need to forget, okay? Forgiving and forgetting are two totally different things. You can forgive someone and still choose to not be a part of their life. You can forgive yourself, um, and still choose to make a better decision in the future, right? So again, take that how it applies. Let's get into the tarot and focus on the energy of your person, Aquarius. So we're going to be using the Cirque de Tarot, which is new to me and hopefully to you as well. I love this deck. Um, and of course, it is about the circus. And even though I was never a circus member, I was a theater member. And some of you who know what theater is like, it's pretty much like a circus. So I think that's why I connected with this deck so quickly. Um, this card popped out before I asked anything formally. So I'm just going to kind of take this as clarity for forgiveness. What is... Um, um, the message here. Yeah, so five of wands is the why behind all of this forgiving energy. Apparently there was some conflict between you and this person, okay? Possibly um, a third party situation as this can represent competition um, or competing for someone's affection and time. Five of wands is a very passionate card. It could bring up flares of anger and uh, again, cause arguments and fights. So if there is a rift between you and this person, regardless of who did the rifting, regardless of who is truly at fault, um, I think that spirit is trying to get you and this person to both take accountability for the role you played in things getting this bad, okay? So if you have been struggling internally, 
okay? Then spirit is reminding you it's okay to let go of that struggle. That struggle does not need to define you, okay? So let's now ask our questions formally, okay? So we're going to be asking, what is the energy that's driving this person? Let's get one more for that. One more. I said one more, not 12 more. Let's uh, dial it back. <laughs> um, we're also asking how does this person think and feel about you and this connection? What are they thinking? <laughs> Clearly I'm in a silly mood today, you guys, so just bear with me. Um, and then finally, what does this person want? What do they want with you, Aquarius? What is their desired outcome? Oh my gosh, those popped out fast. And we've got three cards here for the outcome. So this is about to be a juicy little story here. So yes, going back to the five of wands, bottom of the deck confirms even further the five of swords. I think in the past, you and this person definitely had some conflict. I think even maybe this person may have betrayed you or vice versa. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, you see how the cards are separating and sliding? I want you to see what's right behind it, you guys. The lovers, okay? So maybe you and this person felt very divinely guided towards one another. And uh, it felt, you know, like a very spiritual connection. Um, you know, you, you loved each other instantly, things like that. But in the end, there was a betrayal here, okay? So I feel like we're diving into the, the past between you and this person. Five of Swords is one-upmanship. It's like getting stabbed in the back or feeling confused or manipulated, right? You can see they're tied here. So this could be you, again, or reverse roles if it's the opposite. But someone's tied to this board here, and this person is manipulating the whole thing, okay? So I do feel that, you know, this person may have walked away from you or vice versa, which caused the feelings of betrayal, which caused this rift, this energy of um, struggle and, and arguments, fighting, passion, so let's dive in, okay? What is driving the energy of this person? Or what energy is driving this person, I should say. So you have the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So destiny is driving this person, okay? This person is literally being guided by the universe to be open and be vulnerable and to be honest about their emotions, okay? I think this person could have had some sort of an awakening in regards to the circumstances between the two of you. Queen of Cups is an empath. She's very intuitive and intelligent emotionally, um, but she doesn't chase people around for love. So Aquarius, if you consider yourself to be the Queen of Cups here, um, you could be the one driving this person in their life, maybe driving them a little crazy even because, you know, you don't just let go of the queen of cups. The queen of cups inspires you to do better, to be better, to move with the energy of love. So the wheel of fortune could be as these two are pointing here to the center, pointing at one another, whatever they're pointing at, this could be symbolic for spirit and the universe pointing this person in the right direction and leading them back to you. Okay, this person might be on their way back to hopefully beg you for forgiveness if they're the ones who did you wrong, right? So the Wheel of Fortune can be very fickle. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. This time the card's coming up in the upright, so we're talking about their drive. I think this person is very driven to get back on the right path with you, to get back on track in their life. Um, I don't see that they're necessarily experiencing negative karma or bad um, energy, but I think that they want to experience this energy. They want to get back on track to their destiny. And if their destiny is pointing them to you, then so be it, right? So we're talking now about how this person thinks and feels about you. And we've got the queen of wands and the star. So yeah, you know, I think this person also kind of um, thinks about you in a sense that you're a very passionate person, you're a leader, you're very charismatic and sure about what you want, you are sexy and you're straight up fire, okay, you're magic. So if yes, you're an air sign, but I, 
I would not be surprised if some of you in the comments are telling me that you also have fire in your chart, okay? Because this person knows that you're capable of manifesting anything that you want. I mean, you reeled this person in, okay? You have them on your hook here. So they think about you in this way. They admire you. You inspire them. Once more, we were talking about being inspired by the Queen of Cups. So now we have two Queen energies popping up, fire and water. Um passion and emotion. I mean, like what a great combination with the star. This person has been wishing for you. They have been hoping and praying to be able to renew this connection. And they've also been hoping that divine timing is going to be on their side, that they're going to be divinely guided back to you. Okay. The star is a wish. It's a dream. And this person in their heart, they know that you're the one that they're wishing for. Okay. You're the, you're their star. Okay. So finally, what does this person want? Six of wands. They want you. They want to win you. They want victory. They want to succeed in conquering you. Okay. Um, the six of wands also signifies someone who feels very strong and powerful. Someone who knows that they're being divinely guided. I mean, you can see this energy of fire behind this individual supporting them as they raise up in power. Like this person wants a victory here. Okay. They want to win. All right. So going back to the five of swords, you know, very similar to this energy um, in a sense, because, you know, we talk about one upmanship, someone who really just wants to win or who wants to come out on top. I think that this person could just be that type um, where they don't feel like a winner. They don't feel victorious unless things are going their way. Um, but obviously, too, we have the eight of cups and the three of pentacles. So ultimately, this person needs to walk away from something else. Okay, so again, we mentioned a little bit lightly earlier that this could have been a third party energy. With the Eight of Cups here, though, I think that this really kind of solidifies that your person could still be giving attention and time into a situation that's a dead end, right? We have this fish that's literally dead in the bathtub water, and they're still pulling along this heavy load. Kind of reminds me of the 10 of wands as well. You can see that he's even still pouring water onto the fish, like trying to revive this bad boy. It ain't gonna happen. He's got the cross in his eyes, buddy. He's gone. Okay. It's time to flush this, this boy down the toilet. So three of pentacles, even more so this person has already a, has a foundation with someone, someone that they're working with in some way, shape or form, whether this is a partnership, a marriage, okay, some sort of relationship dynamic. And even though they were building a foundation with someone else, I think this person was on the side, maybe trying to build a foundation with you as well. Okay. And now you can see here, this individual, they're hanging by a thread caught between these two situations here. So ultimately your person desires to build a solid foundation, but they know what they need to do first. Okay. They know if they're going to win, if they're going to come back and, and win you over and have victory with you. And, and in this connection, they're going to have to walk away from whatever it is that they're still pouring their energy into. This person knows damn well that whatever this is, is not giving back. They're the ones carrying the whole damn connection. So, and, and who knows, maybe it got this way because this person stepped out on this other person, you know, maybe this other person, um, picked up on this person's affair or energy, a connection with you. And they're like, all right, you know what? Fine. I'm not putting any more fucking effort into this anymore. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to help you build anything because, I'm not going to put effort into somebody who is going to be going off and getting their side piece and coming home to me at the end of the day. I mean, you kind of have to like understand that person's perspective, which I'm sure you do, but, um, but yeah, obviously this person made some poor choices. Okay. And they were giving to the wrong connection and now they've got a bunch of burdens on their shoulders and dead ass fish they need to de dispose of. Okay. So yes, I do feel this person wants to work with you. They want to collaborate. They want to build something, but they've got work to do before they can even come close to, to being at that point. So once again, this concept of forgiveness, I feel is this person is the one who needs to be forgiven. Um, or this person is the one who wants, hopes to be forgiven by you. Um, and, you know, maybe even this other person, this person could have had a little bit of um, an awakening in regards to their behavior. And as I say that, we have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck.
So yeah, like this person was a sneaky ass sidestepper. They were being deceitful. They were lying. They were cheating. They were hiding. They were strategizing a way out of their situation in secret. And that's not cool, right? Seven of Swords definitely spells third party situation. So there's even more confirmation for someone out there. Um, and you know what? I'm not going to dwell on it. I feel like this person knows what they did, which is exactly why forgiveness came up first. Um, and you know, even if this person is just realizing in the month of June and having the epiphany, like, oh, wow, I can't believe I did all of that. Then maybe spirit is showing you this forgiveness card in advance to kind of prepare you. Okay, for what's to come. This person is having this moment where they realize what they need to do to win you back. So be prepared for this person to come back around and try to earn your forgiveness. Okay, hopefully they try to earn it. Hopefully they don't just expect that you're just going to forgive and forget, right? I hate that phrase, forgive and forget. Um, I'm sorry, but I have a memory like a steel trap. There is no way I'm forgetting this shit. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to think about it every single day <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, and that I feel Aquarius, you can probably relate to that being, um, I'm an air sign as well. And you know, I feel it, it's like in our minds, people call us very detached emotionally, but it's because once you show us who you are, once you show us this, this person here, um, there's no coming back from that. Uh, and oftentimes it's like a flip of a switch. Once you show that side of yourself to me, once you prove to me that you can't be trusted, um, you're no longer attractive to me, period. There's nothing you can do that will make you attractive to me again. Um, and you can spend forever and eternity trying to prove to me that you can be trusted. But something in the back of my mind is always going to be suspicious. And that's just the way my foul little mind works, okay? So hopefully some of you guys can relate. And you know what, you guys? I was about to pull some messages from your person. The first card I see is not the right time, okay? I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for a relationship, which is probably why this person has such an escapist attitude. They're overwhelmed. Okay. Um, what else do we need to see from this person to Aquarius? Wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. So, you know, I kind of feel like this person, uh, they can't be taken serious. They can't be taken seriously right now. Okay. I think this person is more interested in getting their rocks off or getting what they want. Um, and again, that queen of wands card that popped up, this person is definitely aroused by you. You intrigue them. You inspire them. Your sexy, charismatic energy. It is, it's very potent. This person picks up on that and they want to explore you. But the problem is, is they, they messed it up before they had the chance. Okay. Um, and maybe some of them have had a little taste Aquarius, but, uh, based on this person's behavior, I would find it unlikely that you would allow them to have any more. Okay. After that, um, what else? Another message for Aquarius, please. Just one more run away. You know, this person, as romantic as it might sound to like run away together, the fact that this person is saying that they want to run away to me just kind of says like they're a runner. Okay. This person is not the type that is able to take accountability for their, their issues and the way that they behave and treat people. Okay. So yes, maybe this person wants to take you away like Cal gone, but at the end of the day, like they have so many things they need to solve and handle before they can even come close to that. So would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Of course, they want to get away from the world. They want to get away from their responsibilities. They want to get away from anybody who would try to hold them accountable. Um, and so they're hoping that you would be that person for them. But at the end of the day, Aquarius, I think that you're not. Okay. Not that you and this person aren't meant to be or whatever, but I don't think that you're the type of person that's going to sit around and tolerate that shit. Okay. So anyways, this is officially the longest love reading I've done for any of the signs. So I hope that it resonated with someone out there. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, do all the things. Hopefully I will see you guys for an intimate extended reading this season. Um, so anyways, guys, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is down in the description box below. Other than that, I love you and I will see you again soon. Bye.